Scotty doesn't know. Oh, so don't tell Scotty, cause Scotty doesn't know, cause Scotty doesn't know. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Chidi from Fantasy Good Sports and I'm coming to you with another video today. And this is another sleeper. This is a low sleeper. A real quiet sleeper. Scotty Miller. Yes, I said it. Scotty Miller. So we all know there's a bunch of weapons in Tampa Bay. And there's Mike Evans. There's Godwin. There's O.J. Howard and there's Rob. So you would think there's no more room or no more targets for anybody. I disagree. Scotty Miller, for two weeks of the fantasy season, will be a boom player. Now, he won't be a boom player every week. But I believe two weeks out of the season, maybe an injury, maybe somebody out for a couple of weeks. Scotty steps in and has a big week. He reminds me of Julian Elderman. I mean, a faster Julian Elderman. I don't know if he's quick as Julian, but he's way more faster. He runs a 4'3". 5'9", 170 pounds. About the same amount of height and weight. So let's get into Scotty's background. Scotty went to Bowling Green. At Bowling Green, Scotty didn't get on the field to his sophomore year. In his sophomore year, he had 74 catches, 968 yards with 10 TDs. He also led the MAC conference in catches and yards. Now, Scotty played both sides of the ball in high school. He was a free safety and a wide receiver. So, I tell you that to tell you that. Uh, Scotty is very impressive with catching passes in, in traffic as a smaller guy. I've watched a lot of film on him, and he seems to make tough catches. Um, so when you play free safety in high school, it make you tough. You have to go and be able to make hits in big field, and sometimes you got one on one with big running backs, and you have to be able to tackle them. So you have to have some heart. Also. Scotty doesn't know Miller was a first team all Mac in punt return and kick returns. So he made it all Mac in special teams. So if you play in leagues where you allow special teams touchdowns for six points, Scotty would be a sleeper for those points. So you um you can play him when you level you have a bye with one of your big receivers. Say, I would think he would be a nice handcuff to one of the Bucks receivers. He could have some standalone value, too. You wouldn't think a guy that's 5'9", 170 pounds in high school would finish with 1,500 yards his last two seasons with 28 touchdowns. So this guy, every time he was touching the ball, he was dynamic, making plays. But that's in high school. But... High school goes to college and college goes to pros. So you take everything that you learn and it and develops your game into the pros. Even though Scotty doesn't know Miller is a sleeper, he's not a guy to sleep on. And he's been slept on his whole career. He only got one offer from a D1 school, which was Bowling Green. And coming out of the MAC, leading the MAC for two years in catches and special team yards, and yards, receiving yards, he didn't get a invite to the Senior Bowl, which was ridiculous to me. This is two years ago. And he didn't even get invited to the combine. So he had to have a pro day. But he was still drafted. But it just, it's, it's, all these professional scouts, you would think that with Julia Elderman being in the league and smaller guys excelling in the league, that they would draft these guys, but they still overlook them. So this guy has probably a chip on his shoulder, and he knows that he has Tom Brady. So 
he's coming out to play and just go do some research. They talking good about him in camp. I wanted to do a video on him, but I was like, ah, well, it's not this year because they threw everybody. You know, they got Tom Brady and they got Rob and they need Trey OJ. So I was like, they just going to use this guy for special teams, but not so fast. I've been reading some things in camp and they talking about he had him in one of the best camps, most surprising camp. So, guys, Scotty doesn't know Miller can be a great waiver wire pickup or draft if you haven't drafted y'all already in your leagues. So be looking for Scotty doesn't know Miller. And if you like this video, go down to the thumbs up and hit the button. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Thank you.